you want this style to be sleek, you want the curls to clump. Do you know I'm a fan of clumping curls? <laughs> this isn't meant to happen. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. You may know me already, but if you don't, this is Miss Lauren Lee 11. And today I am bringing you the wet look. And happy new years, guys. Just carry on Okay watching. guys, first you're gonna wanna prep your hair. Now, my hair's already prepped. Now the best way to do this is on damp hair. I done my hair last night, it was too wet anyway. So all I've done is I put in a product that's gonna really help with this style. And then obviously, as you can see, I braided my hair last night. The product that I'm talking about is Curls Unleashed and this is a leave-in conditioner. Now the reason why this is really going to help the style is because it, it kind of reduced the shrinkage as it's a really thick cream. Okay, it's got a very thick consistency and when I put it on my curls, it pulls my curls down. So when my hair dries, they're still elongated. So that's what we want. Okay, so that step I'm going to leave and now I'm going to show you the second step. For that, I need to get my hair re-moisturized. You're gonna want to re-moisturize your hair. So I'm gonna do this in sections, guys, just to make sure every part of my hair is saturated and it gives me a sleeker look. As I said, I've got that leave-in conditioner in my hair already, so I don't need to apply any more of that. But if I didn't, I would mix the leave-in conditioner in with the water and spritz it on my hair that way. And counterintuitive, water does dry your hair out. So that's why you need to put in, you know, oils to keep in the moisture. This is solely water, okay, and I'm just going to spritz my hair from root to tip, just to make sure it's damp. Now, I don't want it dripping, I just want it damp, okay, I feel, I feel that's damp enough. The way to tell that your hair is damp and not soaking wet, as you can see, when I pull it, it gives it a little bit of a spring back, okay, so that shows that it's damp. My hair was soaking wet, my hair would be quite limp, it wouldn't be doing that. So that's a good indicator that your hair is at the right consistency it needs to be. Before I set this style, what you're gonna wanna do is apply oil. The oil I'm choosing to apply is the castor oil from ORS. And the reason why I'm using this one, because as you know, castor oil is very thick, so again, that will pull the hair down, but also it has amazing shine once the hair has dried. So I'm gonna Put quite a fair amount in there. <laughs> just shake it. it. Doesn't want to come out. So I'm going to use that amount first and just see how I get on with that. Because you don't want your hair to be greasy either. You just want to coat the strands. Okay. So I feel that's coated enough. Already I'm getting that wet look, but what I want to do, I want my hair to lay. So I don't want to have these puffy parts. That I'll be using my Eco Styler and I'll be using the hold with number 10 because it gives you that sleek hold, or it gives me that sleek hold. I find any other Eco Stylers such as the flaxseed one or the coconut one, because they have oil in it, they don't give me such a great hold. The cast oil I've just applied on the Ether Gel will also kind of minimize the cast, the crunch that you get. Just before I do that, guys, I am just gonna go and quickly detangle my hair with my paddle brush. This isn't meant to happen. <laughs> Let me just move on to my other brush. Now I'm gonna take the gel, I'm gonna take it like that. First apply it on your roots. And then smooth it down. As if you was about to put your hair into a ponytail. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is then rake it through at the bottom.
Okay, so this is what I've got so far. As you can see, I've got that wet look. Let me show you the back what I've got. Okay, so for this section, I'm gonna use my wave brush, maybe? It's quite a firm brush. I'm just gonna spritz my hair as I did. But also, guys, I wanna say, the leave-in that you use, test it on your hands first to make sure that it can be mixed with the gel that you use. Reason being, because you don't want balling in your nice sleek style. Pretty happy with that at the minute. You don't need to separate too much guys, you just need to scrunch for that kind of wave look. Okay. Falling and I'm a whip, whip, yeah. Out in Fairfax, going hard in the pit, yeah, yeah. I still ball in the pitch, yeah. Something wrong with the picture. Something is wrong with the way, and I don't know why. Why, why, why? Why you need to lie, lie, lie? Something is wrong with the way, and I don't know why. Why, why, why? How do you get by, by, by? There you go, okay, so what you're gonna need to do now, guys, is to make sure you've got those waves, because I want waves more, I know my hair's curly, but I don't want super defined ringlets, I want more waves. So you're gonna want to scrunch. So just go ahead and scrunch, this side's drying already. So you can see it's drying, but it's still stretched. So you wanna scrunch, scrunch, bring it over to, scrunch, scrunch. Show you the back. Okay, so now guys, I'm gonna show you how to get this look dried and wet at the same time. All right, peeps, so here's the trick. You're going to use a diffuser. You can let it air dry, but with air drying, I find that I get a bit more shrinking. <laughs> with diffusing, you can stretch your hair while whilst drying it at the same time, okay? So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna do medium heat and a high setting. So my hair is pretty much dry. We can see that's coming off my hair is the oil, and it's not really that much. But my hair is dry. See, it's dry, guys. Hair is dry, but I've still got that wet look. Okay, guys. 
so there you have it that is my wet look see I've got lots of movement your hair will stay like this throughout the whole day or whole night or whenever you plan to wear it like this okay so there you have it guys this is my wet look uh, let me know what you think if you are willing to try this let me know how you get on I'd love to see pictures you can follow me on Instagram to show me any pictures that you have if you do try this look at Miss Lauren Lee 11 and yes so guys I hope you have a great new year I will see you in the new year and if you are going out tonight maybe try this style you know maybe a red lip or classic wing liner who knows <laughs> but anyway guys I hope you enjoy this evening and I'll see you all in the next year Thank you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.